welcome back to my channel. Uh, today's video is going to be a Makeup Revolution haul. Now you all know by now how much I love Makeup Revolution. They burst onto the scene about a year ago with their you know, affordable um, products that everybody can use and most of them are dupes for higher end products but at a lower price but still the same quality. So uh, the last couple of weeks I've been buying Makeup Revolution products and today I thought I'd put together a video of what I've actually bought and show you what I've bought. Uh, there's some pretty exciting stuff, some new stuff as well that have just that's just come out on the website and some older stuff that you know I've wanted for a long time but I haven't got round to purchasing them. So we will start with eyeshadows because the eyeshadows are phenomenal and I've got quite a few palettes to show you. So we'll start off with the Naked Chocolate from I Love Makeup Range, which is their sister brand. Um, pretty much the same stuff, but just look at this packaging. It's like a massive bar of white chocolate. It just looks so good that I just want to eat it. <laughs> so uh, this is the Naked Chocolate Palette. Apparently it's a dupe for the Too Faced Chocolate Palette. So it comes in a case like this, and if I just open it up, so we've got 16 eyeshadows. And they're all around like the chocolatey nude uh, taupe colours. So these are the eyeshadows. So they're really beautiful. So we've got like a nudey kind of pink colour, uh, some light browns going into like a kind of reddish brown colour. Then we've got dark brown and some of the darker colours here as well. And some like milky coloured um, shades too. Uh, this, these two are my favourites at the moment, it's what I've got on my eyes and I use this as like an all over base of my eyes and it's just beautiful. So they've got some names and of course there are chocolatey names. So we've got Smoothly, Divine, Mocha Lover, Dipped Chocolate Fest, um, Adorable, Buttons, Frosted Choc, Delight, Sweet Shop, Sugar, Double Dip, Toblerone, Wonka, milky and white so i'll leave all the prices down below but i think this was 7.99 uh for that you can't go wrong especially when the two face palettes about 32 pound i think so i'm really pleased with these shadows and they're really nice you know you've got a mixture of matte and you've got shimmer as well so they're a really good it's a really good palette to have and i'm really glad i've got it so i've wanted it for a while Next up is new on their uh, product menu and this is the Neutrals, Neutrals versus Neutrals palette. This palette is so perfect for this time of year. There's just so many autumnal colours in there, they're just amazing. So if you just open this up, wow, check out the colours, they're so gorgeous. I mean look at that one as well, these are just unbelievable. and. Most of them are matte as well. I've got quite a few shimmers. I'm excited to do a look with these colours as well, maybe like a Halloweeny orangey look. Um, so it comes with a double ended professional brush as well, which is really good, a difference from the usual sponge applicators, which to be honest, I don't really use. Um, so I'm dead excited to use this. It's just such a beautiful palette. Um, this was, I think this was £7, 6 or £7. Like I said, I'll leave all the links and prices below anyway. But it's just so beautiful. Um, the colours we have is Bias, Neutral, Personal, Vogue, Trend, Neutral, Tone, Custom. And on the second row we've got Cool, Style, Partial, Mode, Adapt, Buff, Suit and Strong. Strong looks to be like a really beautiful deep well. So that's like a kind of like a deep purple with almost a rose gold shimmer running through it. So that's really gorgeous. Let's try that on the back of my hand. I mean, look how pigmented that is as well. I mean, it doesn't even come off my finger, so oh god knows what I'm going to do with that. Just clean that off on something. So that's really beautiful and this shade looks gorgeous as well, wow. Really high colour payoff for something that's not that expensive and everybody can own so I'm absolutely over the moon that I've finally got my hands on this, I've been wanting it for so long 
So that's the Neutrals versus Neutrals palette. Um, next up we have the Flawless palette. 32 eyeshadows in this palette. So it's just full of beautiful colours. So you've got like earthy toned, you've got nudes, you've got neutrals, you've got like warm, you know, brown shades, copper shades, navy blue shades in matte and shimmers. And it's just like a really beautiful palette. That colour I'm absolutely in love with at the moment. So you have paper, almost there, smudge, pure chocolate, soft glow, uncover, shimmer heart, raw, buff, Fairly pink, universal, red night, um, highlight, low light, copper shimmer, molten chocolate, angel, golden night, medal, burgundy night, unlimited, gold digger, darkest shimmer, green stars, brew, cheerless, tarnish, cafe noir, silver smoke, blue stars, black toy and night which is the darkest shade. This was £8 as well. And they're really big palettes as well, you get so many shades, 32 shades for about £8, so again, another huge bargain. And last but not least, on the eyeshadows, we have the Beyond Flawless palette, which is the next, which is like, like part two of the Flawless palette. This one is like one of my favourites, you've got a lot more uh, browns and pinks and some purples and navy blues in there. Um, I love these pinks as well, they're really pretty, I think that can be a really nice look. Again, this is £8 off the Magic Revolution website or Super Drug Stores. And the colours are, if I follow suit from the last one, I'll go down in the fours again. So you've got Flawless, Dove, Sandstone Tawny, Light Caramel, Chestnut, Bronze, Ground Brown, Papaya, Zorba, Autumn, Toasty, Bear Pink, Pug, R, oh. Spice, Immaculate, Sand Dune, Brunette, Whole Meal, Teddy, Mineral, Cookie Doll, Sepia, Cocoa, Espresso, Chocolate, Muddy, Bistre, maybe? Warm Grey, Stone Grey, Nightfall and Blackest. So I would imagine like these black ones you can use to make like a dark smoky eye or take like an angled brush and use it as um, as an eyeliner on the upper lash line in, in case you don't want to use like a, a felted pen. So again another 32 eyeshadows, £8, cannot moan at all for the quality of the eyeshadows that you get in, even the matte colours which sometimes I find in the iconic palettes they can be a little bit chalky and not have that um, that really great colour payoff that you want but these are just something else they're out of this world so that's the Beyond Flawless palette. The face palettes now, one of the ones that I got really excited about is the Ultra Contour palette. I'm all for contouring, I've used quite a few things, I've used Daniel Sandler, I've used the Barry M Chisel Cheeks, I've got the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star and Glow palette which is by far the most beautiful contour palette I've ever used and you know it's just so luxurious, I love it to bits and you know I've tried with bronzers, with sticks but I've been most excited about this which has been compared to the Anastasia contour kit which is I think about £79 maybe something really really like, ridiculously expensive while it might be good quality I cannot justify spending £70, £80 on a contour palette because I've got bills to pay and a dog to look after so maybe one day but for now I've got this contour palette so it comes with eight shades and the pans are really generous as well to get your brush in so you've got like a pink shade and a yellow shade the yellow shade I should imagine counteracts the dark bags under your eyes and then we've got like a beige kind of pinky shimmer shade which could be used as highlight and this shade here is beautiful it's like a silver highlight with gold running through it it's just it's really something else I've got space on my arm to actually swatch this I mean look at that absolutely gorgeous probably not one I'd use on my cheekbones I'd probably use it maybe as like a highlight on the inner corner of my eyes or my brow bone so that's that and then we've got our contour shades so you've got like a kind of milky chocolate brown a lighter brown and a darker brown to use for contour and then this um, 
it's not really shimmery, not as shimmery as the top version. More kind of matte with a slight shimmer, I should imagine, to highlight. Which is really beautiful. Uh, I've actually put off using this until I film this video, so what I'll do is I'll use it for a couple of days and get a review up for you on my blog. I'll write up about that, but that is just gorgeous. I've been wanting it for so long. Eight pound, you know, so much less expensive than the Anastasia contour kit and I've heard better as well so looking forward to really using that and as with all the palettes you get this huge mirror in there as well so you know I've got about 10 palettes now so I've got 10 mirrors <laughs> so <coughs> that's the contour kit next we have the ultra cover and conceal palette which I've been using for quite a while now this is in the shades light to medium so it's another huge mirror in the lid and eight pans of concealer, generous pans again. So you start from the lightest to like the medium and then you carry on to the darkest. I use this shade quite a lot under my eyes, but I have been using this shade to try and contour a little bit. I'm fairly new, I'm still a bit shaky on it, but it's it's really great like concealer to use for a contour. Um, so you've got all these shades to counteract, you know, dark circles, blemishes, redness, you know, even to cover up your spots and that. So it's a really beautiful palette. That was eight pound as well. Um, and you know, eight concealers for eight pound. It's a pound of concealer. You you just can't complain. Can't go wrong, really. And last in the palette is the Ultra Blush Palette in All About Cream. Now if you watch my favourites video of last year, you'll see that I've got the Sugar and Spice uh, Blush Palette. I've been after the Golden Sugar, but not so much as I've been after the Cream one. Because I really love cream blushes. I think they apply really well and they can give you like a really nice, you know, sheen to your cheeks. To make you that healthy glow and pop of colour. The palette again comes with a huge mirror and eight pans of colour. So look at these colours, they're beautiful, so you've got like your bright pinks, um, you've got like a coral toned one, you've got darker pinks, you've got another coral one, which is one I've been using the most, and they're so pigmented. I took a small amount of this one and applied it to my cheeks and I look like Bobo the Clown. So you have to use this really sparingly, but the, the colour payoff is amazing, I can see maybe one or two, maybe these two to be used as lipsticks maybe mixed in with like a bit of Vaseline to give a glossy finish but these are gorgeous um, if I just pull my sleeve down um, I'll show you this one so pigmented I mean look at that they're really easily blendable as well so if you do get it wrong you can you know give a bit of blending to even it out to make it look a little bit less clowny so that was eight pound as well love blushes i love cream blushes and this is like one of my favorite new products as well so again well done makeup revolution and lastly we've got some lipsticks love the salvation velvet lacquers and i thought now it's coming to autumn i'd like quite um, a bold deep color so this is velvet vamp and it's so dark it's almost like an aubergine shade and it's really dark i'm actually going to use this in one of my um halloween videos that are coming up so if i just swatch that so sorry about that my other half just walked in from work <laughs> caught me filming uh so this swatched is a really like aubergine deep purple, perfect for this time of year and I'll be using that on my Halloween videos, uh, I've got three coming up so I'll keep your eyes peeled for those. The last two lip colours I bought are from I Love Makeup again, Makeup Revolution sister brand and these are the super wow um, high gloss lip colour sticks, now they're not actually high gloss, they're quite matte and they do not shift off your lips all day which is a bonus because I really love matte lipsticks as you can tell I'm always wearing a matte lipstick of some sort uh, so these are very aptly named after Blondie's uh, hit singles which I absolutely love so we've got Sunday Girl and we've got Call Me um, Sunday Girl is kind of like a deep fuchsia pink shade I'll just get these out of the boxes so 
so they come in black casing they haven't actually got the names on which can be a little bit of a pain in the bum so I've got to keep them in the boxes and I hate keeping boxes so they just wind up lip pencils and this is Sunday Girl which is really beautiful and then we've got Call Me now I've got so many red lipsticks and nobody can have too many red lipsticks nobody's ever said that so but this is just really gorgeous really bright red and as you, you can see that they've got like quite a matte formula instead of being gloss which is really good um, you know they don't cling to dry patches on the lips or make your lips really dry out but if you apply matte lipstick I always um, recommend that you use a lip scrub or use Lushy's bubblegum scrub and um, a lip balm afterwards to really let it sink in, blot it all off and then apply the matte lip colour so your matte lip should stay tip top all day. Um, so that's it really, um, I should imagine there'd be another makeup revolution all coming soon where I'll spend lots and lots of money on all their products and I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'll be tagging you Makeup Revolution in the video. See if you like it and I'll see you next time. Bye.